So I've been getting a lot of questions about what's the difference between a blower style GPU and a fan style GPU. So in this video, I'll explain what systems that you would use each type of GPU in. Hi everyone, I'm Mike from the Media Man Studio Review. And on our channel, we like to bridge that gap between the creative content and the technical requirements. And in this video, we'll be looking at the different types of GPUs. So not the different models as in RTX 3080s, 3090s, but the different form factors and what sort of situation or system that you would use each in. So I thought we'd start off with your typical fan design. And this is an RTX 3060 Ti, and it has three fans and then these large fins and then these heat pipes that are down under here. There's six heat pipes that run through these fins. Now what that does is it pulls heat from the CPU die or the chip that's on the other side of the circuit board here as well as the memory modules that are packed around it. And it puts that heat through the heat pipes into the fins and then the fans actually blow air across out the fins and it blows the heat out the side of your GPU. Some of them do have some vents in the front so it's blowing some of the heat here, but most of that heat is dissipated into your case. So that heat is just being pushed off the GPU and expecting other fans in your case to be able to push that heat out of your computer case itself. So it's very important if you have a really powerful or very hot running GPU that you're running some case fans enough to pull that heat out of the case and then an intake fan to bring some cool air into the case. So these, of course, is your standard design. People have been using these for years and years. Uh, but the big problem with that is they're very large. So this one here takes up two and a half PCIe slots. So if I wanted to stack multiple cards together, I would need a lot of computer space, as well as how do we get air into the cards itself and dissipate that heat out the fins on the side. So this is an RTX 3080. And you'll notice that it's a little smaller than the RTX 3060 Ti, but this Ti is an overclock model, so it runs extremely hot. So it's the same design, we have three fans and you can see the heat fins underneath the fans and it blows air out the side. Right in here there's some copper heat pipes that pull that heat from the die that's sitting right about here on this GPU. It does have a vent in the front so some air is being pushed out but most of the heat from a GPU like this is being pushed out the sides of the GPU and into your computer case itself. So those are two fan style GPUs. This here is a blower style GPU. It's a little bit thinner. It's only using two PCIe slots. It does have no vents on the side whatsoever. And this is a turbo edition Gigabyte RTX 3090. And the turbo meaning that it's pulling air in and blowing it across the card and across all the, the cooling mechanism that's here and blowing all of the heat outside of your computer case. Um, but be known that these are actually louder. These fans spin up to about three or 4,000 RPMs where a fan on a three fan system like this might only spin up to about 2,000 RPMs each. So it's a much quieter GPU than a blower style. Blower style only has the one turbo like fan. So, and that's why they're called a blower style. It sucks air in and blows the air out. And then we have an RTX 5000, an older, let's say last generation card, but this has the same design. So you'll see no openings in the side of the case whatsoever. It's blowing all of the air out the back of the GPU. So now why would you use a blower style card? The blower style cards are a little thinner and you can see that you can actually stack them in your system fairly close together. So as long as there's enough gap between them to allow air to come in and enter the card and blow out the back, it's not a problem. If you get them too close together, of course, you're blocking off that air vent. But if you were to stack two of these fan style cards in a system, you can see stacking them together is basically cutting off all the airflow from this fan. And what, what's gonna happen is they're gonna overheat. And you can also see the amount of space that they take up. So here is two GPUs as opposed to these two GPUs. This only takes up four PCIe slots. This one takes up six PCIe slots with the same gap between them basically. This card's a 2.9 PCIe slot. So the gap between them would be you know, a little wider than normal, but it's still fairly close and you're choking off these fans. So you might not find these turbo or fan style GPUs in the market anymore. A rumor has it that Nvidia quietly asked all its partners to stop making this type of GPU and concentrate only on the fan style GPUs because Nvidia didn't want companies and individuals to use these style cards and servers. They want you to buy the Quadro or the 
you know, the A6000 lineup of GPUs because those are workstation GPUs. They're much more expensive. And you know, if you've watched some of my other videos, this Quadro 5000 card is about comparable to this RTX 3060 card as far as performance goes, at least in the creative 3D uh, environment. Right now, most of us are basically using the RTX cards if we can get our hands on them, the RTX 3000 cards. But what if I wanted to use multiple GPUs? And again, it becomes very difficult when you're using these fan style cards in your workstation and having them too close together. They're gonna to overheat unless you have a lot of airflow moving through that case. So I hope that helps explain a little bit of what's the difference between a fan style card and a blower style card and where you would use these and what kind of system or what kind of you know, situation would you use the two different cards. Again, the, the blower style cards will work in any workstation just as well as the fan style cards, except these are gonna be louder. But if you're gonna use multiple GPUs, you definitely wanna find a blower style card so that you can stack those in your workstation. Or if you're building a render server, a GPU render server, you're absolutely gonna need the blower style cards to be able to get that air into the GPU and out of the server case itself and to be able to tightly pack these into a server. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. It really helps out in the YouTube search engine for me and other people that are looking for this information. Subscribe to the channel, hit that notification so you can be notified for when I do release other videos. And I've started a Discord chat server. I'll leave that link in the comments below. Leave any comments you like. I do respond to every comment on my channel. And I enjoyed doing this video for you and I'll see you in the next one.